Hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course. In this video, we are going to talk about how to build dynamic radio button in React Native. So what is dynamic radio button? Basically, dynamic means you're gonna have a one array and you have to just loop the array items and you have to make the radio button build the dynamically. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna make an array of skills and we'll map the radio button and we'll maintain the state. It's so simple. So you guys can also try out if you want to try. But yeah, let's code. So I'm going to in my VS code. So you can see that in the last video, we had built this stuff, a uh, custom radio button. So you can see that what we had done in the last video, we have created one state, con selected is sel set selected. And after that we had, you know, one container, we are having a one container. And after that we are having a one view. Okay, inside the view, we have a two touchable opacity. So you can see that the first touchable opacity, basically the first button, and the second touchable opposite for the second react native but radio button so what is the logic so we have a one touch inside the touchable opposite we have a view okay inside the view we can see that radio wrapper uh, which is you know for the styling purpose and we have a view and the text and here what is happening we are checking that like if the value is one then you know highlight this otherwise if value is two then highlight that as simple as that okay and we have added the you know on press event on this button so whenever user click on this and the value we get set, set selected is a two and the when when the value selected is a one so it will get highlight uh, it will get the uh, you know highlighted like that so now now what we are trying to do we are trying to make a dynamic radio button react native so to make a dynamic radio button we gonna create a first uh, array okay so let's create a array of skills so I'm going to create like this quickly. Uh, the first will be let's give an idea and name. Let's give us a name and uh, I love React Native. Oh my gosh. It's okay, let me change the font quickly. Okay, so we're gonna have a skills like Hindi. No, my bad. Uh, React Native. I love React Native. Okay. And the second skill will be like, let's add a quickly some skills. One, two, three. Okay, three skills only. We'll make it much more later. So we're gonna have a third skill. The first React skills will be JavaScript. You should know JavaScript. I think you guys know you love JavaScript. And the next will be, let's add a Next.js also. I know Next.js. Now after that, we have created one array okay now basically what we have to do we have to map the item so what we have to do is skills dot map okay inside this uh inside this argument uh, in the, we get the our item and after that we have to do like this arrow function and we have to open the curly braces and inside uh, uh, this curly braces we have to return our component to return this we have to return this component okay so i just copy paste this component okay and the last code which i had written i'm going to remove this i don't need it anymore because we're gonna make it dynamic so you can see that what we had done quickly let me summarize it so we have inside the view we are running a loop skills dot map item and after that we are just looping that component inside the return make sure to pass the return like without return you will not get anything on the ui okay now you can see that uh on the screen we have a three option basically this component uh, this component is looping three times so let's understand the component quickly once more so we have touchable opacity inside the touchable opacity we have a on press event whenever user click on touchable opacity one so it will the value get selected as a one and if the selected value is a one then we are highlighting this button okay now you can see that quickly if you see there's an one error is coming in the console uh, basically each child should each child in a list should have a unique key okay so whenever we are mapping uh, you know even mapping a data using map so we have to pass one prop called key and it should be unique so we have to pass like this and why we have to pass keys in you know in react or react native keys are basic identifier which helps react to understand which item deleted or removed to you know rent to make the render process so if basically we have to pass key that's a simple thing <laughs> otherwise you will get the error uh, okay so we have passed the item dot id and inside this 
we are getting item and at the place of item option one we gonna uh, render the item dot name so you can see that react native javascript and next.js okay now after that uh, we gonna do one thing like uh, if the user you know whenever user click on the button we gonna update the set the value as a at the place of one i'm gonna set the value item dot name item oh my gosh item dot name i do a lot of typos okay so we have selected the set selected as a item dot name the value get selected as a name but you can see that we are clicking on this nothing is highlighting so we have to change the logic here if 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 uh, selected value is equal to selected value is equal to item dot uh, name so so uh, highlight that so if i click on react native javascript and boom guys you guys had created a dynamic radio button in react native in just few seconds so this is how we can make let's understand the code quickly once more so we had created one array and let's add more skills uh four will be java okay so this is how we had okay so we have defined one state selected is set selected okay we have defined uh, we have created some array with the id and the name okay uh people usually you can use also value if you want to use but yeah let's understand so we have added id and name now after that we inside the view we are just grouping our array skills dot map we get the item and after that we are returning a component inside the return we have a touchable opacity and whenever user click on this uh, a button so we are setting the item as a whatever user click item dot name so the name will get set on this state okay now after that we are passing the key as item dot id why we pass key because that that's a uh, underwood like keys help to understand which item deleted updated and we have a radio wrapper uh, to style the, so this and whenever the item will selected so that will show like that yeah uh, see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye bye